What has more horsepower than any MotoGP bike? A better power to weight ratio than any road going Porsche, Maserati or Aston Martin? And more exclusivity than a Koenigsegg, a Pagani or a Bugatti? It's the Sea Breacher X. It's an entirely new class of watercraft and it looks a lot like a shark. And it's the highest performance model in the Sea Breacher range, which also includes dolphin and killer whale replicas. Every Sea Breacher is hand built to the buyer's specs. You can choose the paint, the extras, how many and where you want the video cameras to capture the action, the GPS, the stereo system and the motor. And they all have wicked power to weight ratios, but the X model is the most finely balanced, has the most sensitive controls and is specifically designed so an expert pilot can get the most from it and pull the most insane stunts. Originally built with big Wankel and big V8 engines in the early days, the best power to weight ratio and balance of the machine has been found from fitting the lightweight supercharged engines from personal watercraft. And because no one spends six figures to have less grunt, the most commonly used power units are the supercharged top of the range models from the 260 horse Sea-Doo and the 300 horsepower Kawasaki. And the Sea Breacher has a jet and fins, and it is a credit to the way nature has shaped the sea's most frightening predator that it handles like it does with 300 horsepower in it. It is biomimicry at its finest. Buckle yourself into the sports car seat and you'll find a set of controls more akin to those of an aircraft because in essence that's what you are doing with the Sea Breacher, flying it above and below the water. And thanks to fluid dynamics you'll find the Sea Breacher turns far quicker than any car or motorcycle or the traditional hull of a boat or PWC could ever manage. Gently squeeze that trigger and the Sea Breacher begins accelerating at warp speed. It planes instantaneously and then begins skipping across the top of the water like a skimming stone, except at 50 miles an hour. It's quite different to anything that a personal watercraft is going to give you as an experience, indeed any other recreational machine available. And thanks to its shape and the semi-pressure hull, the Sea Breacher can go below the waves as well. Then you haul back on the aircraft-like controls and, whoa, it's a sensation you can't quite get anywhere else and the surroundings make you feel like you're behind the cockpit of a jet fighter only there aren't any downsides you're not going to t-bone the earth as sea breaches creator rob rob innes said to me by phone the day after i'd sampled the sea breacher even when you royally screw something up it's never really life-threatening so you can have all the fun of teaching yourself to fly without any of the downsides it doesn't take long to learn how to make the Sea Breacher sing, to perform barrel rolls, skip along on its side, turn with g-forces that make your head feel like a kettle weight, and just generally frolic with the carefree nature of a dolphin. The fellow driving in most of these videos is Gemini watercraft Sir Suck Chipwicket, and after witnessing his aquabatics from inside the Sea Breacher, I asked how long he'd been driving it. His answer was, just 15 hours. So you can see that if you have the aptitude for it, you can be very good very quickly. The intoxicating nature of having a sensitive jet fighter that can flick in any direction you wish allows you to shut out the growing warmth from the sun and under the canopy. But when you've exhausted yourself controlling this ballistic projectile, getting a lung full of fresh air is incredibly easy. You just let go of the trigger for a moment, the sea breacher settles, Hit the depressurise button, undo the locks on either side of a genuine jet fighter canopy, that's what it is, and, and this creature that was spitting fire and brimstone a few moments ago becomes docile and putters around like a carnival boat. As I've said, it's quite a different experience to a personal watercraft because you sit much higher on a personal watercraft and your centre of gravity is maybe a metre higher and that makes a massive difference. There's no wrestling the beast. You just point it and hit the gas. In the same way that a go-kart feels like it's doing a gazillion miles an hour because your butt is just a few inches above the tarmac, carving turns on a personal watercraft is worlds apart from turning in the sea breacher with your head at or below sea level and the incredible g-forces compressing you into the sea. 
In many ways, the personal watercraft is a hot rod, while the Sea Breach was akin to a bare-bones sports car like an Aerial Atom or a KTM Expo. It's a no-compromise machine with brutal suspension that will loosen the fillings in your teeth if you insist on pushing it to the limits, which you will. The Sea Breacher is built entirely to have fun at ridiculous speeds and it feels like it's going faster than it is because of the rate at which the water hits the canopy and pounds you into the seat rises dramatically as speed increases. You never forget that you're inside a projectile due to the extreme forces you're being subjected to. And no matter how recessed your personal fun buttons might be, the sea breacher will press them and keep pressing them for a long time. Some boys toys are fun for a while, but it soon gets to the, is that all there is stage? I can see the sea breacher providing thrills for a very long time. It's a no compromises fun machine. It rejoices in the ridiculous, performing tricks and subjecting your body to the type of g-forces you might get leaping a motocross bike or cornering a go-kart or bungee jumping. But it's safe enough to strap the family air in the back and I'm quite confident that anyone could drive it safely with a bit of tuition. Motorcycles might give you more straight line performance bang per buck, but you need years of experience to get anywhere near getting the most from a motorcycle through the twisty bits, and the consequences of making a mistake can be costly and painful and maybe worse. More so than anything else, the Sea Breach convinced me that we have not seen the last of new water toys employing the vast means available to inventors these days. This is a completely new form of recreation with a fun factor that is completely off the dial compared to anything else I've tried. You can buy a sea breacher direct from the makers in California in a space and get it built exactly how you want it. It's an experience the likes of which you will never forget.